Okay, Bill Block, this one's for you. We're going to do a little quick and dirty 200 series junk saw, what fits with what. We're going to do this quick and easy. What we have here, we have a 162 SE, 266 SE, 630 Super, 61 Practica, another 630, a 266, 272. This is the last in the line of the 200 series, okay? Um, basically, the long and the short of it is... Number one. Let's see. I don't have enough bench space. And my benches are just messy right now. 272 is kind of its own animal. 272, 268 are the newest of this series. Um, they are a little bit different. The main thing is, this recoil screw... Look at it in relation to here, okay? This top cover screw is behind this recoil screw. It is in front on the older saws, okay? So, if you're going to build a 272 chassis, you need a 272 or a 268 top cover. Um, if it's behind, you got a single piece ignition. If it's in front, like this, you got a two-piece ignition, so there's a coil here, and uh, I think they call it an igniter here, okay? So that's the one thing. This top cover will not fit on this saw, and this top cover will not fit on this saw, okay? So that's the one thing you got to keep in mind. But the rest of this stuff is pretty, pretty straightforward. 272, 268 has this style air filter. Most of the ones I've seen have this. There's a square filter that mounts into this box, okay? That will only fit underneath this top cover. If you don't have this top cover, you can't run this filter setup. So that's one that's one thing that, that is unique to 272, 268, okay? Now, let's see if we can get that to focus. Fine thread crank. Let's see if we can get this off. This is stuck on. Oh, there we go. Okay. These are similar era saws, okay? Husqvarna John Sered. The John Sered crank is the same, but it has fine threads for the clutch, okay? So, if you were going to build a Husqvarna, an old one, you need a Husqvarna clutch or a John Sered clutch. Now, as far as I know, this is the same as the 272, okay? This has a fine thread clutch with three springs. The rest of them, like this and these, have... I got it on the bench here somewhere. Give me a second here, folks. Okay? They have this single spring clutch. Okay? This goes on here. So this is a coarse thread clutch. This would be old style. When you order a clutch, often they'll say fine or coarse thread. Okay? Whereas this clutch obviously... It's bigger. It only it just slides over there. Okay. Cranks are all the same though. You can put you can put a 162 crank in a 262 if you want. So those are all the same. Uh, the John Sered has a two-piece top cover that mounts there um, with studs. This will fit on here on the old style ones. So to me, if you were gonna mix and match these, you're probably better off to go with the old style 200 series because they're all, everything pretty much fits. Uh, chain brakes. That's a, that's a uh, aftermarket side cover. Don't waste your money on those, they're garbage. Well, at least all the ones I bought have been. Okay, here's your three side covers, John Sered, early 200 series late 200 series okay these will all bolt up the difference is the Husqvarna stops look in front of the handle the Husqvarna one stops behind okay but in a pinch if you need a John Sered side cover on your Husqvarna look Okay, you could cut the back of this right off, paint it red, and okay, you have more a, a pseudo Husqvarna or, or pseudo John Surrett side cover. Now, 
The John Sered chain brake is different. I got a bar on that one. Let's spin this around. Okay, there's your John Sered style chain brake. It has two um, spring steel tensioners, okay, that hold it in place. So, um, it is different. It's at a different angle. Will it work? Yeah, it'll work. You can put a John Sered side cover on a 266, okay, on this style. Now, top ends, they all fit. You can put any top end on any one of these saws you want. You can mix and match carbs. Um, I have a little carb on this saw. It's a 163. This thing's ported. You go back in my videos, this thing runs amazingly with a little carb. You don't necessarily need a big carb to make your saw run. I put this carb, sorry, this carb on this saw. You can feel the difference, but it's not enough that I'm hunting for a good 272 carb. If one comes in my possession, I'll probably throw it on there, but I mean, it's peanuts, the difference, right? Okay, you can mix and match all the different carbs. There's your early style air filter. Um, single screw in the middle. The... The... 162, 266 have the same air filter. It's a two screw right here. I thought I had one on the bench. And I'll probably, oh, here we go. Okay. There's your difference. So if you want to use this style, you need this, you need a different mount. Okay. They'll all fit underneath the top covers. The only one that won't fit is this one, right? So if you want the high, if you want the big filter, you need a 272 chassis and a 272 top end. So these are all interchangeable. Um, your intakes are different on the 272 and the 268. Um, the rest of these have the same intake. 162, 630, 266, 61 all have the same intake. Um, the 630 Super, like this one, this has a bigger carb than an early 266. This has a 254 Tillotson, okay, which is just slightly smaller than the 272. So there, there's a reason why those run. I don't, if you've ever run a stock 630, that's a really strong 60cc saw. Moving along, handles, they all fit interchangeable, okay, 272. 266 XC, 630 Super, regular 630, 162, they're all the same. This one's metal. The big difference is the John Sered doesn't have a fast idle here, right? Like this. So, uh, John Sered, you just pull it and it has a cam on the carburetor and you get fast idle and choke at the same time, like a modern saw. Right here, chunk. Okay, you hear that? Chokes in. You hear that click? That's the cam going over. These ones, right? So, if you put this handle on a John Sered, you can fast idle it with this or just pull the choke. If you put this handle on, all you're going to have is choke, okay? Unless you want to rig up a John Sered carburetor and a John Sered choke linkage. Do you need fast idle? I typically don't use them, so I don't see that being a hurdle. Now, recoils. 272 recoil is, is wider, okay? Notice this one, and this one, and the rest of them, they're all the same. So, you can put a 266 recoil on a 272 chassis, and vice versa. They all fit. They will all work. Um, handles. Handles. Oh, can you even see it here? Give me a second here, folks. The John Sered handle, the screws are farther apart. Okay, so if you want to use a John Sered rear handle, you need a John Sered handle. Okay? Notice the difference. Here's my fingers. There's about an inch and a half in between the Husqvarna one. And again, there's my fingers. So it's almost twice the distance. Okay. Uh, bucking spikes and all that are the same. Um, 
272 muffler is taller. It won't fit under this cover. Um, you could put some uh, heat tape or something under there if you had to do it. Um, so these mufflers will fit under any cover. But the newer style, like 272, 268, the mufflers are taller. They have a physically bigger muffler. Um, what else can I think of here for you? Um, all the top ends are interchangeable. I think I said that. If you put a 272 top end on an early style saw with this metal ch uh, chain flag, the decomp will not come out. It's going to hit right in here. Okay. So if you put a 272 top end on this, you have to plug it. Or it's you're gonna have a decomp leak. So okay, uh, if I forgot anything, please fill it in in the comments. Anybody that knows, I don't know everything. You can tell I like my 200 series saws. Try not to mix up too many parts. Practica. Oh yeah. I like my 200 series saws. Uh, there's so many of them around here. I just pick them up whenever I find them at a reasonable price. Um, you can still get parts for them and, and I run them like that saw there is my go-to saw It it's a monster ported so um, I probably even like that more than this to tell you the truth um, This is a better This is a more usable saw the new style three spring clutch um, Is so much easier to work with so um, and they made some improvements to the intake. I think there's a little less heat transfer in these 272s and the new style clutch. It's just, it, it's, it's a more, it's a more user-friendly saw. The older saws, you got to carry a screwdriver with you. Um, the, the clutches tend to be a little worn when you get one. The springs are a little sloppy and, and it, they're, they're a little more of a fickle creature. I like running them. I'll carry a screwdriver every time. Anyhow, Mr. Bill Block, this one's for you. Um, fuel caps are interchangeable, oil caps, your, your start, stop switches. Um, you can pretty much mix and match these saws. They're, they're really easy to play with. Uh, the only other thing I will say before I let you go, the metal handled saws have different AV mounts than the plastic handled saws. These are a fine thread that screw into the metal tank. These are a coarse thread. So, um, I don't know if you can still get the fine thread ones. You'd have to check aftermarket or your Husqvarna dealer. Okay, that's what I know. And uh, I'm going to stick with that. That's what I know. And uh, you can really have a good time playing with these. So, Mr. Bill Block, I hope you got something out of this video. If you need more... Hit me up on WhatsApp, buddy. We'll uh, we'll go further down the rabbit hole. As always, thanks for watching. Take her easy.